So let us try to identify some elements. Let's say you have this web page. Let's assume that this is your test application. You have this web page and you have to identify uh, different elements inside the web page. And uh, based on the type of element, you have to perform some action. For example, uh, in the images, uh, the image tags you have to find out the height and width of the image tag and uh, in case of uh, a, a text box you have to write something in the text box so how would you do it how would you identify these elements one way is to yeah right click on it go to view source and try to read the elements yourself try to uh, understand what different elements are present in the HTML document and what are the different attributes of these elements so that you, you can uniquely identify these elements but this is a very painful task if the document is very big and complex which it is which today's documents are so we have complex websites uh, all across the internet so uh, on a complex website you professionally uh, you you probably wouldn't be able to identify elements using this strategy so Ignoring this strategy, I would take you to different tools available uh, to, this, to do this task. For example, in IE, we have IE Developer Tool. Now, what is this tool? This is a simple HTML parser tool which passes through your HTML document and tokenize each element. So, it's able to beautifully represent each element and give you more information. Plus, it comes, uh, comes, up, uh, comes with uh, some cool features of uh, point and find and find uh, elements so this feature allows you to point to any element and it will tell you what element there is so you don't have to go through the whole document in order to find your find your element so how do you use this toolbar uh, for the latest browser versions for the latest IE versions this toolbar is pre-installed but let's say if you don't have uh, the latest browser then you can either download the latest browser or you can download the toolbar itself you can get it from msdn.com uh, which is the microsoft uh, official website now i have the toolbar downloaded in my system already uh, it's a pre-installed version so all you have to do is just click on f12 once the document is loaded you can click on f12 and there you go the toolbar comes up now this is the toolbar and in this particular section which is the DOM Explorer you will find uh, your HTML document the code inside your HTML document plus you will find the console window which will give you lots of information about uh, it actually checks it actually checks your document and tells you what's wrong with it and what are the different things you can do about it and on the right hand side it's it's your CSS uh, Explorer so this is the style sheet Explorer here you will get the style of an uh, of, of element so if I click on this element on the right hand side you will get the style so as it is a very basic document we don't have any style here but I will show you that uh, most of the documents in modern websites have lots of style associated with them so going back to our main problem how to locate an element for example this is a web page uh, this is your application under test and you want to know what this element is all about all you have to do is just click on this select element icon which is here and point it to the element of element that you want to explore for example let me just take it through different elements on the web page and yeah this is the one all I have to do is click on this and it will it will highlight the code part of it so let me do it again let me first highlight something else yeah so now let's do it again as you can see right now it's showing something it's highlighting something uh, a tag which is an input tag and it's a hidden tag so I will do I, I will click on this and I will try to explore the elements now yeah this is the element of my choice as you can see that it creates lines around the element which which helps you uh, it's a visual indicator that you are on the correct uh, element Just click on this and yes it will highlight the element now this is your element this is the element that you are looking for from here you can find out uh, what are the different 
uh, attributes of the element and what the element tag is now what type of element it is now let's try to find a button this is the button element that we are looking for now as I click on this the button the, the HTML code of button is is highlighted so it says that it's an input tag with type submit and the value submit query so this value is actually the text on, on, on the uh, on the button so, so similarly you can you can find lots of other elements of your uh, of interest on a web page for example I want to find out what this checkbox is I click on this and I see that it's an input tag with type checkbox and this is all about it I can read the attribute there is only one attribute which is type checkbox now this is a very basic page and it won't give you like a real-time experience of what's happening around so let me take you to our website and let's show you what different elements are there for example this is uh, this is assume that this is your test application this is the application that you have to test and assume that you have to test the search functionality so uh, a very basic test around the search functionality would be you have to type something in this search box and you have to press enter or you have to submit the search query so let us see how we can type something into this box how we can actually identify this element altogether in the first place so all you have to do is just open the IE toolbar which is F12 it comes up here and using the same strategy click on this this link and go to your search bar click on that and you will see that it has highlighted the code of the search box now this is a properly formatted search box so you can see that uh, it's an input box with a name s and title search for it is a class search field and is type search now uh, it is a value which is blank which is nothing and on the right hand side you can see this is the, these are the style elements so it says that there is a padding right of 2 pixels and a lot of other things so if you are interested in understanding what uh, CSS is you can go through uh, to different websites available uh, on the net where you can get lots of information around it so now we have this element we have the search box and we know that it has a name S so yeah this makes our task very easy now using selenium all I have to do is just tell selenium that find me an input box find me an element which has a name S provided that uh, uh, that name S is unique uh, inside the HTML document now using the tool this is how you can uh, easily locate different elements for example let, let's try to find something else let us try to find what this start button is made of all I have to do is just click here and click on the button it's a a tag it's actually an image so no it, it's actually an anchor anchor tag so all so this anchor tag has a title of finding elements using browser inspector well this is exactly what we are doing and the class is by now and href is this now the class is a unique identifier here you can see that by now you can you can actually uh, see that by now is a is a class name and you can probably use it to uh, identify the element provided that this thing is this uh, name this class name is unique inside the document also you can find the anchor tag using the title which is finding uh, elements using browser inspector so this is uh, this is a very high level uh, understanding of how you can use your um, internet explorer uh, toolbar to uh, locate elements you can go through uh, in details about this toolbar uh, from various documentations available on uh, on a msdn.com but 
as of now this is what you need this is this is uh, the minimum amount of information you would need to write your tests and it, it is good to go we, we are good to go at this point in time